Recent rain may have some parts of Catalan looking a little more green, but that is not the case in some western South Dakota ranches. Two ranchers in western South Dakota are dealing with the worst drought they've ever seen. Tonight, Kelloland Sidney Thorson takes our drought coverage to Newell, South Dakota. In his 12 years running the Boylan Ranch, Robert Boylan has never seen a drought quite like this. In the last four years, we've built, you know, 120 reservoirs, and uh, they're just a lot of them just aren't usable right now. The dry conditions have forced Boylan to sell nearly 30% of his cattle and about half of his sheep. For me, I've got 13 years of land payments left, so I've got to generate X amount of dollars to make my land payments, so I run X amount of livestock to do it. Well, I've ended up cutting my numbers, and it's going to be very, very tough to make land payments. Out near Castle Rock on the Irk Ranch, the lack of moisture has caused hay prices to explode. Mark Irk says his ranch normally produces 3,000 bales of hay. Today, there are about 400. It's really a very stressful time. Along with the lack of hay, Irk is also having a harder time finding water for his cattle to drink. The dam you see behind me is usually up to here, but due to the 2021 drought we've been experiencing in South Dakota, it's nearly dried up. In my whole life that I've lived here, I've never seen uh, this spring completely dry. It's uh, a spring that has been used to, um, to water livestock, but uh, because of the drought this year in 2021, it's um, completely dry. It just makes for a challenging year. Uh, you know, we'll get through it and it'll rain sometime, but it's, it's, it's tough to make ends meet right now. In Newell, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. Now to give you an idea of just how dry it is in the area, rancher Mark Irk says his land normally gets about 17 to 18 inches of moisture for the year. Today, it's only at about six inches.